back again for the D-tier challenge. Uh, like I mentioned last episode, we're just going to clear out these three nodes in the void before we move on to the next planet. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment.
are forcing open this location's void portal. You are here to stop them. My intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint their exact location. Search the metal if you are willing to shoulder the added risk. See the feeds light up. It's going down. supply caches in the air. Your job is to distract the enemy while a fellow Tenno operative raids the ship for much needed supplies. Make your presence known. Life support has been cut off. They're trying to choke you out. Hold on. I'm sending auxiliary life support.
for buying more time. Okay, reward time for finishing out the void. I gave myself one blue potato, which I put on the fang here. The reason I put it on the fang is because I am tired of the Gnashing Pariah stance mod. We're gonna try Spinning Needle and just hope it's better. I don't even care that I'm taking a huge hit there and whatever. We'll find out if that works for me. Uh, and then we're also gonna do what? What do we have? Quickening and... How many slots do we have? 25? I'm gonna probably put all of these. We'll do Molten Impact, Quickening, and Drifting Contact. Put these just installed. Gorgeous Wonders, what are you thinking about? And I 
wanted to be doing corrosive and blast on this, so let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay. And we're done. And now for the proper episode for this week. We're doing Saturn. And it really doesn't take that much to get through here. We're going to hit Cassini, Numa, Enceladus, Helene, and then end with the Sargus Ruck boss fight on Tethys. And I don't really foresee any problems on this run. We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. Alright, starting off easy with a capture. Target located. Bring them in. Man, what to talk about this... Uh, oh, that's... Mission Uncomfortable. The <laughs> what to talk about this week? To the extraction point. Well done. Well, you know, Sargus Ruck is the. Oh, what's that? Oh, am I on content high enough to uh, love one of the enemies here? Twenty-two. No, that's that's not high enough level for. Uh, for a Kuba Lich, is it? Oh shit, let's find out. Oh, it was! Subject found. Moderate clone rock. Initiating reclamation. Well, heck, why not? While we're here, let's do this. Let's hit up a... Hit up a Kuba Lich. What would it drop? I don't need that. Well... Anyway, what should we talk about this week? Uh, ah, maybe uh, maybe the bosses of Warframe. Sargus Ruck is a. Uh, I never remember he exists until I actually have to go and fight him for some reason. And how many reasons can you possibly have to fight Ruck? Not a lot. So. Oh! Oh shit! Yes! We've been hoping for this. Fighting Stalker. Let's see how this turns out for me. Speaking of bosses, that was well-timed. Come on, Stalker. Come on. Oh, that's not... That's not what I wanted to do either. Well, looks like even with our junk gear, we're able to take down Shadow Stalker. Look at that. That's a great way to start my conversation on boss fights. Right, I might have left a small gap in recording here. So I left off, I just fought uh, Stalker. And I was talking about how boring Sargus Ruck is to me, because I, I, Warframe's villains aren't always that great. They're either amazing, like Alad V, or, uh, or Tilrigor, or the they're the Sergeant vision. and Sargus Ruck. And you're like, I don't, I don't remember these people, I don't Find care about fighting them. We don't have much time. It does seem like uh, the devs are recently trying to, to change up how boss fights work. Like, the, the Jackal boss fight changes were really cool. Um, issues that I have with boss fights are often um, arbitrary and vulnerability phases. Not a fan. Uh, or... 
Is, it, is that really just the... Is that, is that it? That's the, the one big issue at is arbitrary vulnerabilities. Um... Yeah, I think everything else is... is... tolerable? It's alright. Sargus Ruck absolutely has that arbitrary and vulnerability phase issue going on with him. And it's not fun, it's not interesting, it doesn't feel like a challenge. But at the same time, so many of our weapons are just so good and so powerful at some point that every boss fight could end up like uh, every boss fight could end up like the sergeant, where you walk into the room, you fire, and whoops, you killed everything. That's not exactly fun either. So I do see the need for them to. Uh, to find some sort of intermediary between these things. And the way that, um, like, the Protea boss fight or the Jackal work, where they have a volume of health that, uh, that you do take out, but... You know what I mean, where they basically have four health bars. Uh, I think that's a good system. I would like to see that added to, like, the Stalker fight. Oops. Is the guy that I alerted on the other side of the- oh, he is. Okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm trying to just take out uh, all the guards. I don't think it's working. How long does this guy know? Oh well, whatever. I must have been too loud. Alright. Oh! Finish that off. Now, Sargus Ruck's not that interesting. He's not very threatening. He's, um... We've reached the prison. Find not very interesting. In he just cells. has that frustrating speech impediment in his cutscenes. And uh, then you have to do a terrible fight with him. That's no fun. He's definitely one of the bosses that I'd like to see get reworked. Heads up, a Grenier assault team is headed your way. Actually, right after I started recording this episode, I, even though there's like a huge several month gap in the middle, uh, I had started working on a, a like a tier list for the villains of Warframe. The Grenier have been harvesting a nearby planetoid for weapons grade material. Locate and destroy their mining equipment. And the tier list found. Destroy it. The tier list that I had been working out was like, okay, how fun are they to fight? Like, what's the actual gameplay like? Then it was, what is their actual sort of threat level like? like if you, as a player protagonist, don't defeat this villain, how dangerous Mission are they to the actual system, you know? The like the Jordis Golem. Very dangerous. You, you get the sense that, okay, if you don't stop this thing, it's just gonna spread, or it's gonna lure more people in, get bigger, and spread about to the entire system until it's just, like, eating the whole map. That's pretty cool. Then there's, like, the sergeant. Okay, he's a sergeant on Phobos? Like, we, we maybe cut... How many people have I killed so far just in this mission? How many of them were probably, you know, sergeants? It's it's not really... You're not impressed. But uh, more importantly than, than either, like, threat level or... Uh, threat level or gameplay, to me, is presentation. You know... The queen, we have found the oh, uh, where am I going? Well, I guess we'll go 
two that way? No, we'll go to this one first then. Target found. Destroy it. And for me, villains like Sardis Ruck don't really have presentation. You're looking more at like Til Rigor, fantastic presentation. Alad V, the guy who betrayed everyone, including a hive mind. That's great. Uh, these are fun. Target found. Destroy it. Excellent work. You have managed to thwart potentially dangerous discoveries from being fully realized. For now. What do we have? Don't want it. All right. And. I think it'd be it'd be helpful if they went back and they they looked at some of the the weaker the less interesting villains and they they kind of pumped them up a bit gave them a bit more press gave them a bit more um, a visible threat or challenge or what what their evil plan is that'd be fun. Mission complete. The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Now I know that um, that I'm mostly talking about uh, planetary bosses right now, but I think I think that the the field bosses have kind of suffered too. Uh, I don't know how other people experience them, but. When I first started playing, things like Stalker showing up in my mission or having to deal with the Zanuka Hunter were really actually a threat. They were kind of scary. And now they're just a joke. They just. They're a time sink that I don't know. They're not even a time sink. They don't take any time at all to drop. They don't. They, they're irrelevant whether or not they show up or not. Uh, it's just an extra drop, sort of, of, of loot, maybe. And that's not fun. I, I, I really want the Zanuga Hunter and the Grustrog 3 to still make me go, Oh shit, I need to do something about this when they appear in a mission. Right now, my, my solution is, Oh, I better fire my Archiplasmor in their general direction. Um... And I imagine that there are players who have to do even less than that, because uh, AoE weapons can just nuke maps without even intending to. You can probably kill them and not even realize they'd spawned. That's even less fun. I... I'm not sure how to how to address that without making them a problem for other players necessarily. Uh, because here's a fun here's a fun thing that I, I ruined people's early game experience once. So I was dicking around. This was it was probably MR28 or 29, I think, back when that was the actual highest that you could get to. And I was just goofing off leveling up gear on Earth because I could, so I was equipping all of my worst gear with no potatoes, with no mods. Where is this? Is there some? Ah, there is. No potatoes, no mods, uh, nothing. And I had forgotten that there was a, a Grustrog 3 uh, death mark on my head. So while I'm doing this, like, early game level like five at most I think I don't remember I don't remember what note it was um, and it was all MR one through three players or something like that like people who had barely started playing the game and out of nowhere the Grustrog three interrupt their mission and yeah the Lotus tells you to make a run for it but come on these are new players just starting the game they're not necessarily gonna they're, they don't have any reason to know what's going on. They don't have any reason to think that this isn't just the game trying to be cool. I had nothing on me, because this was back before um, the uh, the Gravimag, so you couldn't just call in um, 
a heavy weapon. They didn't exist. Uh, and I had... I had an unranked frame, un unmodded weapons, and I'm just like, oh god, how am I gonna, how am I going to do anything? We could barely damage them. Uh, I was just constantly screwing about using my operator for parts of it just because I was doing more damage with my amp to try and mitigate issues and revive players because they were getting curb stomped. And two out of three of my uh, my teammates ended up just aborting the mission because they died so many times that they couldn't revive. And they must have been like the worst experience for you as a new player. So if you were in my party for that, I'm I am so sorry. Uh, me being a dumbass, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna stick around for this. I am not gonna let these guys beat me. And I took it as a challenge because it was the first time in forever that the Groostrog 3 felt like a threat and it was exciting to have that risk of me losing. So me and one other player stuck around and, you know, pea shooter wounded these bosses until we finally killed all three of them and then extracted. Yeah, we could have extracted at any time, that's true, but that's not really that wasn't that wasn't interesting, and that's not... It, it probably was interesting for the two people who had to quit out of the game and were miserable. But, uh... I, I did not want to back down from a fight that was finally difficult. And, honestly, part of that experience is why I decided to do this current D-tier play, uh, playthrough. Although it's not exactly turning out that way. I mean, look, I'm not really threatened by any of this right now. I'm barely using my abilities. It's still more fun this way than it would be if I was just using my best gear. Uh, but what I'm trying to get at is that was terrible. That was an awful experience for everyone but me. And... If you're going to put the Goosedrug 3 and the Zanuka Hunter and Stalker into the game where they could show up in any mission like that, then there's a real risk that you're going to hurt the experiences of your earliest players because someone like me is somewhere they shouldn't be. Extraction is ready. Unless nope. you can handle more of the enemy. We've contracted you with a mark. You are here to find your mark and eliminate the assigned target. General Sargus Bruck has become a problem for our artifact recovery efforts. Several of our dig sites in this sector have been attacked and annexed by Ruck and his fleet. Take Ruck out. Ruck is nearby. Be warned that he is a formidable adversary with an almost inhuman hatred for all that is not Grenier. Yeah, it's funny that Sargus Ruck should be saying that I deserve a challenge line right when I'm complaining about this sort of thing. But how do you... How do you make Stalker and Zanuka and the Drag 3 dangerous for me without making them game-endingly miserable for other players? Um. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh, what? Okay. The assassination target is here. Wipe them out. I've got his. You can strip his armor. That's cool. I didn't know that. But it doesn't matter. Oh shit! Did I mind control him? Ah. Uh. 
Jesus. Okay. Let's try confusing people a bit. <sighs> okay, that's the other thing I don't like. Invulnerability phases are annoying, but so are tiny weak spots. And this guy is invulnerable, except for when he has a tiny weak spot. And I don't like it. Sort of working it out. I've never done it like this before, where I stand up here. But he doesn't seem to do very well with elevation, so I'm I'm gonna stick to it and keep this up. I can't see. Not even really hurting me. It's just blinding me. Oh, that's another fun thing, is enemies that have vulnerable spots that are, like, behind them, and they're always designed to turn to face you. Like, does someone think, is someone over dead, do you think that's fun? It's not fun when you're like, ah, oh, the, the way to win is to do the thing that they don't let you do because they always rotate. Like, please no. I can't see. I assume he's got a weak spot somewhere. There. Nice work taking down the VIP. Now get to extraction. All right. And we're out of here. Target down. <laughs>